I had the pleasure this morning of attending the women's ministry event at College Park Seventh-day Adventist Church. Today they had a business networking which included not only men or women, but men also. Quite often it seems that women are taking the lead in the church and uh, making things happen and drawing the men in. But it was a great session. I thought I would share with you some of the things that uh, went on at the session today. How are you all doing? We're here with uh, Mrs. Antoinette Burrell uh, at the Women's Ministries uh, Business Networking this morning. I uh, thought we'd interview, introduce, her, introduce her to you and talk a little bit about what's going on here today. Uh, so why are, we, why are we here, Ms. Burrell? We're here to help each other. We're all business people and we're all Christians. And uh, the awkward thing about meeting each other on a church day is that it's not always appropriate to talk about business matters on a church day. So I thought, why not get everybody together the day after church and we can feel more comfortable sharing our ideas, networking, and it's really not about a money-making thing and trying to sell your product, it's about connecting people. That woman who she, um, her husband has died and she needs to find a painter, she needs to find a plumber, she doesn't know who to call, she doesn't know who to trust, but when you're in, in your own community and you go on referrals, then all of a sudden it makes the job a lot easier to actually get things done and find people with the skills that you need. So why do you think that this hasn't been done? sooner. I mean, you, you took the initiative, which is fantastic. And I think the, a lot of the businesses, or a lot of the business people within uh, College Park Adventist Church, or Adventist uh, circles, need that initiative to, to, to kind of get together and, and not look at business as something that shouldn't be talked about. So why do you think it took so long to, for something like this to happen? You know, we're all busy people, and everyone is looking after their own family and their own business affairs. It's just that perhaps people haven't had the time, or they just didn't decide to take the initiative. It's basically something that needs to be done by people who have that leadership personality, and there are a number of people who we've met today, including yourself, who are very leadership oriented, and who are connectors, and know how to reach out to other people. I think it hasn't been done because people are too busy, or they don't recognize the true value in this type of event. My name is Viola, and I'm actually in transition right now. I'm really trying to find employment. This was great for me because I met a lot of people and I got advice and uh, good information from people and I hope that we can continue doing this because I'm going to be working on some of these advice and the information that I got and this was really very great for me to come out this morning. And uh, My name is Jason and uh, I found that this uh, meeting was actually very very helpful because I got to meet a lot of uh, fellow church brethren and, and uh, learn about, about what they do um, in their work and, and find different opportunities to uh, network with people and I found people and services that I never knew existed before so it was actually very very good to, to be here and uh, have that opportunity. It was a great opportunity to talk to people other than just on Sabbath and get to know um, get to know them, get to know their businesses. I do believe that small businesses should help each other, so it's a great opportunity to get to know each other. My name is Ian Martin, and I'm very excited about this first network session that we had. I believe that Anthony did a great job, and I know that uh, going forward, there's a lot more that we can do for each other. Well, you know what? Uh, we want to thank Ms. Burrell for her time, but before we go, I want her to tell you a little bit about what she does. Thank you. Well, um, as Mark mentioned, my name is Antoinette from HeavenlyGiftBaskets.ca, proudly Canadian company. I design and sell custom gift baskets. We have an online store at www.HeavenlyGiftBaskets.ca. You can purchase online, or we can do custom packages for you. If you want to promote your business, we can create a lovely basket of cheese, crackers, cookies, wafers, imported chocolates, and while we're at it, we'll insert your brochures or your corporate mugs or all of your things that will promote you. We also do special events such as graduations, birthdays, sympathy, Valentine's Day, gentlemen, that's coming up very soon, and um, just anytime you want to send a little gift and you don't know what to do, we'll help you to make that happen, and the first question I ever ask all my clients is, what is your budget? Nobody will be disappointed because we do it based on what you can afford and we make you look good. Excellent. Well, thank you, Antoinette. Uh, thanks, everybody. We will see you on, on another episode of... I don't know. We haven't, got, we haven't given this a name yet. So it'll be another episode of something, right? Maybe. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.